I thought you were going to want me to sing. Nah. <laughs> Silent. Shout out to the standout C. Hall, A. Dot McCray for making me this intro song. Hey, yo, catch you on the rebound. We back in the mix again. I have some females in here today, guys. We have mm-hmm. Natalie Washington. Hey. Brittany Parker. Hello. Kane Turner. Hello. Yes, sir. And this is Catch You on the Rebound. I'm Jordan Tober, your host. And this is a mental health podcast, ladies. So obviously we're gonna go ahead and knock that out the way. So my mental health journey um started in 2012. I lost my dad at tech. I met you. Um, I lost my dad at Tech, and my trainer at the time, Keith Garnett, recommended me to speak to a therapist. Um, I wasn't really the biggest fan of it, but I just I gave in and I did it, and it helped me. I had a therapist there. I transferred to SMU. I had a therapist there, group therapy and individual, and it really just changed my life. So uh, now I just kind of follow that path wherever it takes me, and uh, here we are. Cool. So. You guys are doing something cool. Um, you and Brittany are the co-founders of the initiative. We um, are. We are. You guys tell us about that. Well, where do we even start? Right. We should <laughs> start from the beginning, which was only in April. Okay. Yes. Feels like much longer than that, right? Right. So the initiative itself is this voting platform to really inform young people like us. And when I say young, I mean between the ages of 18 and 34. Four. 35. 35, there we go, right? Year. Yes. 35 is young? Is that? Yeah. So I'm still in the world, world. especially yeah. too. It's the millennial. Right? Still yeah. 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 <laughs> Look. Y'all go ahead, be great. Go. <laughs> just, I'm just asking. Well, okay, so yes. Uh, so our, our main objective is really to keep everyone informed on the facts, right? Okay. We are smart. Uh, right. when, when I say we, I mean young people. Mm-hmm. Right. And we really just want to be able to come to our own conclusion, right? right. We don't want to be given an opinionated fact is what right. I like okay. to often call it. Right. When that happens, I feel like we take a step back and we're like, hold on, that's not what I think. I just want the facts, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Prime example is Joe Biden, right? When Ooh. he made that comment. Mm-hmm. You know, no matter how true or false it was, mm-hmm. I think we were really upset with it because he, he just say? assumed. Oh, what did he say? Yeah, I got, so this uh, was, yeah, a, this in, was an interview lie. with Charlemagne. I got one confession real quick, y'all. I'm Uh-oh. sorry. Okay. I'm scared. I'm sorry for I'm all so three scared. of y'all, what but I it? have oh. never voted. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, I okay. But look, Jordan, yeah. we're working for you. Okay. Yes. This is okay. Right. You joined Kanye yeah. in that. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. Hey. Kanye I'd be proud has to never be voted the, before. That would be my he first. Oh, he's never voted. He's never voted. He just registered to vote on what, July 3rd? Yes. Yes. And for someone who claimed to be a leader of the black community and, um, you know, made all his millions off of uh, being a political consciousness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was very shocking. Yeah. But it was honest. It was. Mm-hmm. And we're taking yes. an honest journey with him. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And see, even, I think we just did it right there, right? Yes. That's gross. That's yeah. gross. That's gross for even yeah. me because I would have, I was the type that used to get in people. I um, thought y'all was going to kill me when I said that. No, honest. you know. It, Okay. And After looking voted. at these stats, right? Like right. we we know yeah. that there are so many unregistered voters right. in Texas, mm-hmm. right. let alone the United States. So it's not something that we're unfamiliar with. And at this point, we don't even care. We just want to inform the people, right? right. So much to where you're persuaded. Like you're like, I know the facts. I want to go and vote, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I understand what the importance of a local election is. Mm-hmm. Okay. I understand how that links to a national election. Those are all the things mm-hmm. that we're learning. That's the most important part, right? right. Is that we're learning along yes. with the people that we're informing. And I think that is why we've had so much growth since right. we started. Right. And why people um, have been really supporting us. Like, this is crazy. We get strangers that reach out to us via email or mm-hmm. just indirect messages on Instagram saying, we love what the initiative is doing. Mm-hmm. Um, and that always absolutely shocks me. Like, right. I'm, I, I get really excited, and right. I think we we screenshot each other, or we screenshot and send it to each other a lot. And we're like, oh my god, we just got someone who wants to volunteer for the initiative. So, getting back to your question, though, you know, keeping pe- people informed with the simple facts is all we want to do, right. yeah. and we hope by doing that that they'll just get out and vote. 
first okay. step is registering. So we'll yeah. we'll get you taken care of after this. Was there? Okay, <laughs> my mom just voted. Um, did yes. you vote yesterday? Did you vote? Yes. Yeah. So I don't understand. Off? What, so how can you vote now and then you have to vote in November? Oh, oh you are perfect for us, Jordan. I, I, I'm a sh- guinea pig. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, look. This is why we exist. Mm-hmm. Not only to get you to vote across the board. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's get you to vote locally. Okay. There are local elections going right. on almost quarterly. Really? Yeah. Oh, e- almost every year there's an election Just going on. Turner, so, uh, Chief of Staff, Tony Rose. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, um, uh, and I'll let y'all get it too. It's a statewide, um, actually, mm-hmm. primary okay. runoff going on right now, right now, okay. because you would be Tarrant County yeah. if you and your mom probably voted in Tarrant County, right? So, mm-hmm. not necessarily would she be voting locally, she would be voting statewide, okay? Um, uh-huh. for a statewide election, and it would be for the U.S. Senate, okay, which would be a federal position and then she will be voting for a state um election for the uh, railroad commissioner okay. which is fun fact ladies what what nothing is to do with the railroad nothing to, to do, do with, with the, the railroad, railroad. Really? at yes. all yes. right you know what it regulates no. it regulates your gas bill it regulates oil and gas oil and which gas. is huge yeah. Yeah. Yes. in uh, texas the land yeah who that's cares about railroad commissioner what do yeah. we do <laughs> all yeah. your people in East Texas right. and yes. West Texas, you know, or when Hobbs. Uh, Hobbs. Yes. <laughs> yes. Stop those minerals. Those. <laughs> yeah. And I did read, and you can let me know if this is uh-huh. factual or not, that because Texas is so big with oil and gas, that right. we often set the standard across the United yes, States. It's called so the West Texas Index. Mm. Mm. See? Mm. I mean, it's a, a lot of deal. gems being yes. pointed out right yes. now. Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. learning a lot. I like that. So, okay, so as a candidate, you would have to win state. You have to win local, state, and then national to, to become the president. N- no. no, those are those yeah. are so totally different. Like, we should take you it wanna, back to yes. the primary, right? Which class right. was this in yes. high school? Is this history? <laughs> no. Which yes. class was this? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Government. Blame my teachers. Yes. <laughs> my teachers, or man. Or were you not listening? <laughs> See, were you? I, 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 it's I it's love history. It was a I love history. We can't tell. <laughs> it's a it's a twofold. Were you listen? You had to listen, I, and they and they probably was not giving you everything. It's a little bit of both. Both, both, yes. I definitely had some some. They didn't go all the way in detail, so I will give you that. We right. know our, our government <laughs> history teachers. I'll take were. these L's for so many other people that don't know half as much as I do. But it's okay. It's okay. But but listen, Jordan, we're gonna give you a pass because okay. 2016 was so different okay. than any other. Very true. It run was because okay. the candidate, well, as we know, is now President Trump, right. did not go through local or regular um, channels. He wasn't a legislator before. He mm-hmm. wasn't a senator. He was. He had no so political he just did position. what he wanted to do. He did, so it Oof. doesn't take all that to become a president. It does not. He was, he was not part of the establishment, and okay. so that's right. why everybody was like, "Yes, yeah. we we like." He was anti-establishment, and so okay. he rallied he was a man. Right. Yes, he was a businessman. He, he definitely, so Kanye can do the same yeah. thing. Then. So yeah. Yeah. he rallied he up could. what people. I'm voting for Kanye. I'm sorry. <laughs> you won't <laughs> be able to. He's not on the ballot. He's okay. not. He has not come out him with in. the you FN. Can't write him I'm in, writing him in. You cannot write him in in Texas. Late registration. <laughs> Late registration, baby. <laughs> we're gonna just really have it. We're taking you outside. Yeah. Yeah. So the biggest thing is with people. Um, in 2006, it was several layers to what was going on in 2016, but okay. a lot of people f- were f- tired with the establishment. And okay. what the establishment was is people who have always been in politics for years and years who were, like um, Natalie said, your typical route as your congressman, okay. your, who's been um, your governor. Okay. Um, mayors. Mayors. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Senators. And so he was someone new. He was also speaking reckless and also um what? and still speaking it reckless. Is. And you know <laughs> and to be right honest, now. um, and I'm gonna be frank, he was um he is okay. still upholding what a lot of people like to say, um, the power of whiteness. Mm-hmm. And they 
were scared, especially after um, you've had a black man become pres um, who served as president. Yeah. So he was something anti Obama. Okay. Something different. Yeah. He yeah. was not politically correct. He right. said whatever he wanted to, right. and so he attracted people, and yeah. he won. Yeah, and then there were several other reasons that y'all can go into if you want to. Do y'all want to also talk about the other reasons? Ooh, hint us Are, off. I'm Are trying we going to learn. Into a, a I feel like I should have a, a oh, journal right now. thought we were going to talk Russians here. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I, no, no yeah. <laughs> I think I love a conspiracy. <laughs> no. Oh, do you like conspiracy? <laughs> Not conspiracy, but basic I'm a conspiracy voter theorist. turnouts, though. I got a couple. Um, sure, sure. Okay. Well, and don't forget about Hillary, right? Everyone well, hated yes. Hillary, I feel like that was a big thing, her whole email scandal, and that really turned people off. Yeah. I also feel like, going back to keeping people informed, we didn't really see anybody advocating for Hillary after that, right? Like, no mm. one was really informing people of why we should still vote for Hillary over Trump. It was like this weird period of time where we were like, oh, Trump can't win. You know, those, yes. of, our, those of us who are informed are like, no way. It's no not way. happening. But I think what ended up happening is we failed – um, the people who needed to, to be educated on, okay, why exactly is Trump a bad decision, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Like, I think that's what happened. Because even I remember the day that I won, I was living in Oregon at the time, and we, I had people, you know, it's a blue state. Yeah. People were mm -hmm. crying when Trump Boy, won. Crying. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were irate and like, let's go protest tomorrow, tonight. Um, and I remember thinking, like, how did this happen? I thought it was re I thought it was fake, and I thought maybe someone would get on and say, "Oh, uh -huh. we miscounted." Like I really thought. And the popular <laughs> vote thing threw people off versus it did. The electoral college. And remember, this happened with George Bush and Al Gore, right? Well, that was something different, though. Ooh. It was, but essentially, yes. he Ugh. Al Gore won the popular yes. vote, right? Yes. And and it all goes back to the electoral the college. Electoral and college. college. Yeah. Can we talk about that? I also want to talk about other things that a Come lot of people didn't Come look at. So 2016 right. was the first presidential election that we did not have a full Voting Rights Act. Mm. Um, in 2013, Shelby v. Um, Shelby County County v. Holder what um, decision was made okay. in the Supreme Court which dismantled the Voting Rights Act of 1965, yes, okay. um, which basically they said that the formula of deciding which states, counties uh, belonged and had to get provisions okay. and basically permissions before they change their voting laws okay. um, because they have been in the past historically oppressive like Texas when they were trying to do the voting mm -hmm. IDs, okay. um, photo IDs, and changing polling locations and shutting down polling locations. Uh. Well, the Supreme Court said, yes, it's outdated. Um, so we're going to shut this down. Mm -hmm. Well, when they did that, it dismantled the Voting Rights Act and – that was the first presidential election that we did not have a um, where states could basically do whatever they wanted to do. Wow! Um, that with was their the, voting. That, that was the George Bush. Uh, is that what he was? Um, no, this no, is no, when Trump yeah. won. This oh. was the first presidential election that we did not have. Yeah. Okay. A strong voting rights act, mm. and, and no one knows that. Yeah. So yeah. across the nation, 800, about approximately 868 polling locations shut down. Yeah. The most, most of them tex were in Texas. Right. Um, I, I think around about 200 polling locations in Texas closed down. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, a lot of these happen in urban areas. Yeah. Where black and brown people live in the hood, in the hood, in yes, the hood. in the ghetto. They, they yeah. shut it down. In the ghetto. We, uh, mm -hmm. This is yeah. also where we had to do with the voting IDs. Had to deal with, okay, what type of IDs do we need to bring to vote? Right. So it was a lot of voter oppressions that happened mm. during 2016, and I think South Carolina they shut, um, cut down 
early voting times. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it was a lot. They tried of, to make it as hard as possible. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. when you make it as difficult that you can yeah. for people of colors that yeah. usually turn out to vote. They don't. Uh, they don't. And it's hard for them to. When is the next time that we can vote again? November third. November third. November third. Okay. Since your mother took care of the her. She did. She did. Well, does does his county have a runoff or anything? I'm oh. in Tarrant County. Tarrant. Well, Tarrant's right now. In Isn't Texas, it happening right now? Texas statewide has the Democratic. Uh, so you could still vote on okay. Tuesday. Well, no, no, this well, no, Tuesday. Not, not, registered. not registered. I might be. I might. I think my mom made me register. We will week. have to we check. Will, yeah, we'll check. Yeah. We'll check. We'll go, yeah. We'll and you, you can always <laughs> go to people can always Google am I registered to vote? Yeah, well in Texas mm-hmm. okay. you can always look that up. You yeah. can look it up and see if you, you can. Or oh, you yeah, can go to the up. initiative Instagram page. Click on the link in the bottom. Plug plug plug. plug. <laughs> the initiative Dallas. <laughs> yes. Nice. <laughs> Sound it nice. out. <laughs> so what like what made you guys want to get uh, kind of involved in politics? I think obviously you're a lawyer. So you're witty. a lawyer. I know nothing. That's a. Then that's why we started right. is okay. because we knew so little. Okay. And then when we're going out mm-hmm. to find the information, it's actually very hard to really? find candidate information. Okay. And while we've done it very well, thanks to my partner Brittany. When we say hard, we so mean hard. hours of research. To find a candidate? Correct. So you can Google anything, right? I the kudos, y'all. Stop. I'm sorry, but I have went to y'all Instagram page prior to coming here, and mm-hmm. it's wonderful. And y'all have yeah. detailed information. Look at that. And I know um, at least one of the candidates, um, State Representative Lorraine Barabell. Yeah. And y'all have fooled, it, and also Senator West. Mm-hmm. Um Roberto Alonso, but y'all have Aww. like this. <laughs> Look, I know, <laughs> but y'all have He's taking some hard. Yes. But y'all have full information. <laughs> it's a Roberto. it's a lot of information. So kudos to y'all when you said <laughs> right. You was doing a lot of research. It's a lot of research, yeah. but it's it's well worth it right. if we get that voter turnout right. Up, mm-hmm. Right, and we're part of the classroom in which we are educating. Yes, that's the other that's part. Something I didn't we know really anything about the railroad right. commission. <laughs> well, I love the railroad commission, but I'm a oil and gas girl, right? Just from okay. being from New Mexico. Yeah. Okay, but who wants to know about the railroad mm-hmm. commission? Mm-hmm. Right. But it's all born from the fact that look, there is sometimes not a a choice between candidate and candidate. Right. The reality is. Mm. Sometimes it's a vote. It's a choice between not voting and voting. Really? It's not candidates really? for our age, right? Okay. And that's okay. for me too. Mm-hmm. I've been guilty of not going to the polls if I didn't like who I saw. Okay. Oh shoot! I'm so basically saying you should vote regardless. You should. Yes. You should vote regardless. Okay. And Find something. Yes. Find something in a candidate that you want to vote for that person yes. for. It's usually the lesser of two evils. And that's what. Mm. Mm. <laughs> we can get it. I mean, it's too. true. Like we we can, but, what it is. but I For think two also elections in a row. <laughs> yes, it has. And and going back to local, right? Yeah. So that's where you really can say, oh, I really like this person because of X, Y, and Z. When we're mm-hmm. talking president, yes. But I think yeah. that people fail to realize we have a lot of people running for office that are like us, okay. yes. that understand, that are actually in the community. I was talking to okay. my aunt one day, and she was like, oh, I see this person all the time. Really? Like, they are in and out of every single event that happens here in Dallas. Mm-hmm. We don't know that because we don't even know what events are occurring <laughs> we here in Dallas, that invitation. which yeah and that's something i think we want to get into as well is just informing people of hey show up here yeah to talk to x y and z candidate mm. to to where next time this happens we're gonna already know because we we have met these people they're not hard to reach out to okay. they're not hard to say hey i'm such and such tell me your opinion on x y and z yeah. they're a lot more approachable obviously like we can't talk to donald trump tomorrow right, right? Mm-hmm. so i think that that is what people have to understand is that what we have an influence over um it's a lot more than we think and mm-hmm. that often or does directly mm-hmm go into the presidency there's a lot of things hmm. that the president does not control that yeah. absolutely that he thinks yeah. he controls mm-hmm. but the no congress that. controls everything 
basically, right? Checks and balances. Checks and yeah. balances. Yes. And they and checks and balances and even what state rights. And okay. a lot of people have to realize the the more local and states have more impact on your life. And that's right. what like you said, it's very important to focus on those local and state elections. Yes. Okay. A lot of people do not know um, how impactful those are. Your judges in Texas are elected. Mm-hmm. Okay. Your sheriffs are elected. Okay. Your county. Oh, the of sheriff of the police department. Yes. 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 It's by that. the DA, right? The police chief is by. It's by the, no, so the so you have the sheriff of the county. Okay. Oh, got it. Yes, yeah. and then your chief of police is an appointed position, okay. but they're appointed by People your mayor mm-hmm. okay. that you vote for. That you vote? Oh, okay. Okay. I like that. Or, or the city manager, but this in, it depends on your yeah. city. But Dallas is a heavy city manager right. position. Um, I'm so excited right now because I'm thinking wow. about all the stuff that I recently read, and yeah. I'm like, oh, I, I remember. Yeah. I can actually yeah. tell this information to somebody yeah. else. Do it. This is the time for it. <laughs> yes. So um, all of these people have influence and impact on your life. When you get in trouble with the law, you, your DA, like you your said, DA. your DA is elected and district so they attorney. also yes your okay. district and <laughs> district I knew, attorney I knew I was so know and that's them. who you turn to <laughs> right. when you there's unfortunately yes. an encounter with police that ends up right. being fatal yes right. you are looking to the da okay. of your city to yeah. prosecute charge them or not yes. not even prosecute but them just to bring a charge just to bring a charge. oh my gosh yep. but how many cases does the district attorney handle Personally, there. What do you mean? Like, don't oh. they have like a lot of cases that they have to handle? The right, but there's attorneys? a lot of assistant district. Oh, yes. so they have a lot of help. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So there's squad. the appointed <laughs> district attorney okay. for let's say Dallas, right? And then they have their office of like four attorneys right under mm-hmm. them. That's their okay. office. Okay. But then there's like a hundred yes. ADAs. Okay, so they can handle the workload. They sure can. Yeah, but mm-hmm. it's a lot. Yeah. So. Because we're both attorneys, and so mm-hmm. you know when it's always, y'all always see the state versus da-da-da-da-da. Mm-hmm. Right. That's usually a assistant district attorney. Okay. Like, that's somebody working for under the district attorney's office. Okay. Yeah, that's not the actual. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Walk out here. <laughs> walk out so, of here feeling like I'm a politician. After yes. This. And, and on up? that note, while we are protesting, and this has been an amazing movement mm-hmm. that we've seen, okay. I think people should equate protesting with voting yes yes so the way we go in and we demand things to happen Mm. like flip of a switch it could be so easy if we would just show can i cuss yeah, there's no just filter. Show the oh, hell up. Mm-hmm. Right? Hey, there's just no show filter. The password. <laughs> there's no filter. Yeah. Well, I was going to say something else, Cut. but I. Cut. Yeah. I was yeah. going to say something else, but. Say it. I understand. I, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I, I got the. I don't have think the that other people are going to say it. Let it out. Yeah. I want y'all to cut. I welcome y'all to cut. I'm not watching. My mama watching. I know what. Where do you think I'm sorry, mama. Hey, Sonya. She cusses. Just. Yeah. Anyway, cuss. <laughs> Sometimes your your cuss words just they just express what you're trying to say. A little salt on the sentence. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But, but <laughs> show the hell up was good. Show yeah. the hell up. That's yes. it. Okay. okay. And and again, we can't fault because I I didn't know honestly. I started to vote because my aunt ran for judge. Okay. And she always said show the hell up, and I really didn't fully understand why show I was showing up, up, but I was still doing it, you know. Yeah. And so I feel like finally we're starting to connect the dots yeah. and we're doing that really across the globe mm-hmm. i just feel like so many people are invested in helping inform one another like we've learned so much just from um networking yes right. we have we've had meetings with other people that just said hey i want to help the initiative what can i do sure. you know which is so fantastic and these are all people our age that don't want to get paid for anything they yeah. just want to help in right. this movement which i think is pretty yeah. I want to help too, man. I'm excited. I'm learning a lot right now. Well, the first thing is getting hey. registered to vote. He's got a laptop I'll right here. We're going to get it yes. done. Oh, do it right that now. is literally. Not right now. We'll get okay. you done. That is literally right. what I said um, the other day when I did a Zoom um, call because I was talking about beyond, beyond protesting. Right. Several steps that we can take. Mm-hmm. But the very first step that anyone that is 18 and up that – 
is eligible mm -hmm. to vote. Mm -hmm. And I put that because, of course, you have circumstances of people who are on parole, who cannot vote, mm -hmm. and everything. And even if you are sitting in jail and have not been charged with anything mm -hmm. and do not have a record, you can still vote. If you are out off on election day, you can still vote, okay? We won't <laughs> talk about how criminalizing <laughs> people was voter suppression. Yes. yes. But yes. we can oh. eventually. Yes. yes. But that okay. is the easiest, simple, and free, free. step. Wait, that it's free you, it's to free. vote? It's free. It's Come free. On, I know. I know. I know. Like People that. seem like it's so <laughs> hard. Very low. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, that you, that you someone asked do. me if they could vote online. I'm not going to say no names, but... They said, well, I can you I would love that to happen. happen. I know. So it's just, it's but little they give things us like that. Posted. Don't What's so, well, we don't normally have printers in our okay. generation, honestly. And that's what, we, you got to print that's out your. That's a big deal. You do need it. I got a printer. <laughs> Is that I got a printer. what held you back? I got it's a okay. No, I got a printer. That's good. Shout out to my mom. Yeah, I got a printer. <laughs> I don't yeah. have a printer. <laughs> huh. Okay, it got a little stagnant, man. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, I mean, other than that, obviously, like, we, we went through politics and that was amazing. And we can touch that up later. Right. Mm -hmm. But I, I just really want to know, like, where. OK, first of all, mm -hmm. it is <laughs> national minority something that you said that I forgot. So <laughs> it is National um, Minority Mental Health Month. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Or some know. people, um, Mental Health America right. uh, has changed it okay. to um, I think. I think shorthand, if y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, is okay. it biop? It's the new term for people when they say black, indigenous, people of color. Oh. Okay. Yes, um, mental health um, month because okay. they want to change from the term that minority is oppressive. And their theme is how the impact of trauma uh, and how a lot of I addressing, do that. yes, mm -hmm. uh, how yeah. race, racism and discrimination has is traumatizing and has an impact on generation of trauma and it mental yes mm -hmm. and yeah. our mental health um i know charlemagne the guy from hey, the breakfast call, yes yeah. have yeah. always said black people and people of color are pretty much born pe with ptsd, PTSD. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah because yeah. of what we have gone through in this nation, so he was actually one of the. So I read his book, uh, Shook Ones. It's a good so book. Good. Yes, it's, it okay. is. It's amazing. Yeah. So like, it breaks down all the different parts of uh, mm -hmm. mental health, mm -hmm. and that's basically like one of the things that made me kind of want to start. Wow, doing that's this awesome. Yeah. And he's like, he's just a very open person, mm -hmm. so I enjoy that. Mm -hmm. But I just want to know, each each of you, like, where's your mental at today? Just your mental well being. We can start with you. Ooh. Right here. You got this pink on, you know. <laughs> well, I think my <laughs> mental health is in a place of encouragement. Okay. I'm between the passion that we, I, I'll, stop, I'll talk in I. <laughs> okay. The passion that I have for this initiative okay. just by gaining knowledge has encouraged me. Directing my career path because I'm kind of going through a shift right. as far as development. That's encouraging me. So I think people's collective passion as well for change. And you have to be energized by that. It's yeah. hard mm -hmm. to see yeah. people's collective unity yeah. um, and feel alone. Yeah. So yeah. I feel encouraged. Parker? Parker. Kobe. Oh, gosh. He's oh. A, one of the biggest Kobe fans I've ever met. The goat, the only goat. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know what you got MJ here for, right? I don't know why yeah. I said yes. I don't do sports. <laughs> we gonna let Kobe get a pass. Rest in peace, Kobe. Kobe, man. Y'all yes. gonna give me the cry? I, I just know. can't. I know. Um, let's That's see. That's tough. The oh. question: yeah, yeah, yeah. Where am I at mentally? Is that? Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm in a place of confidence. Um, I've had. Man, uh, trauma, that is, we could go on and on when okay. it comes to trauma. Yeah. I've had my own fair share of, of events that have happened in my life that have taken a hold on me. Do you mind sharing? One. Oh, gosh. Um, <clears throat> you don't have to. The biggest thing for okay. me, no, it's okay. Uh, the biggest thing for me was being sexually assaulted. Okay. Um, that happened 10 years ago. And, wow. and it. I feel like I just got to the point where 
I I feel like I've released that energy. Mm. Um, I was able to associate me holding on to it with not completing things in my life. I'm gonna mm. get real emotional, y'all. Um, right. But once we that here, release baby. happened, yeah. that's when I started to not only go after my goals, but to complete things that I've had mm. on my checklist forever, yeah. right? Um, so I think that we have to acknowledge trauma and the things yeah. that happen to us. Otherwise, we don't know how it affects us indirectly in our wow. everyday mm. lives, right? Uh. Something as simple as not getting up to work out every day, mm. right? Mm. Yeah. Um, we have to acknowledge the things that are hurting us um, uh. so that we can deal with them and move on, right? Uh. So now I just feel like we're just, it, you know, 2020 is a weird year, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This pandemic. You don't scratch 2020. You just yeah. 2021. Mm-mm. It's not over there, though. It's yeah. actually not over. It, it's, Which it's could be a bad to be thing. Over. Huh? I know. It has asked to be over. <laughs> I feel like. It get the, better. With the government make a decision just to scratch 2020 and for us to start over, like yeah. we can call it 2021, but nothing counts. Nothing this happened year. from <laughs> we'll 2019. Just, like, to yeah. I didn't even turn my age. Yeah, we're just gonna start over. Yeah, I, I really appreciate you sharing that. Yeah. If y'all would have scratched 2020, would have the initiative started then? Oh, a lot of stuff has Let's started yeah. within 2020. No. 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 Yeah, absolutely. I think a lot of people yeah. have started, have taken this time during mm-hmm. this pandemic to really, they they had to sit, mm, sit their ass down. Is that they, what you're going to say? Well, I'm, I'm your anger I, translator. <laughs> All of y'all. That's a better one. They had to sit yeah. their ass down. I'll be using uh, yeah. I'm, I'll had, be our anger say, translator. <laughs> well, my show. Is that your title? Yeah, I'll be the anger translator over here. <laughs> my F bum is, yeah. is, is. I'll be thinking the F bum sometimes. That's okay. Yeah. Fuck. Is that <laughs> <true>? <laughs> I can say that. In but, my, uh, it's my show. They had to sit <laughs> they had to sit down and really reflect. Okay. And mm-hmm. I have seen a lot of people come out and even myself. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I was going through a lot of trying to balance work and my life. And during this time, I have been able to really just reflect. And, and I found, found that balance. Right. And, okay. you know, my happiness and my direction of what I'm um, – re- I was able to re-ener- re-energize mm-hmm. myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I think a lot of people even – within the um, pandemic is we have two pandemics really going on mm-hmm. COVID-19 and, and, okay. and the, sure. yes uh, the racial one so yeah. I, a lot of people yeah. have found their drive and their passion their purpose within this 2020 and we always talking about like can we just skip through it and I was like we have healed That's and good. I have healed life through um, some relationship breakups and even like really sitting down like, dang, can I like what's going on with yourself and building mm-hmm. my own relationship like mentally and spiritually um, with myself. And so um, I had to thank um, the the shutdown for that. Mm-hmm. And I have seen a lot of people create during this time. Yes. But um, I'm optimistic and I have been um, optimistic about um newcomers into um the political realm and mm-hmm. getting active into um community organizing i have always been passionate about it um even from let me see my my family have always been like politically aware so i think that kind of drove my passion for it since high school and then when I got into college I was like super heavy in politics like um, starting college democrats at my school um, and um, being very active in doing um, voter turnouts and doing march to the polls and all that so I've been doing I guess you would say like this quote unquote fight and my even um, for law review my, <laughs> hey, that my, is I a know, fight. That is, but my um uh, my article that I wrote on was about the effects um 
the Shelby v. Holder's effects on the 2014 and 2016 election. Mm -hmm. So that's how I knew mm -hmm. those oh. information. And it's just exciting to see how many people are getting into it and, um, and more involved. Because I got, even the other day when I saw like Kanye was running, I got like really sad and depressed. Uh, really? Yeah, I did. I did. Because I was like. I love his music though? <sighs> not anymore. Well, yeah. well, he yeah, hasn't. I, I, I haven't listened to a Kanye album in a long time. I like Jesus is born. Mm, I, I, I do love Kanye. I, I was, did not. I was the biggest Kanye. Like I was still getting you. Late registration, graduation. No, no, no. Late registration was good. Jesus, eight oh eight, and heartbreaks. Come on. Eight oh eight, and heartbreaks was trash. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Kill Kanye. You know, kill with me. I remember I got that album for Christmas and I played it on a CD. As a, I'll give you Yeezus, but no, I'll tell you my. No, I, I love. You're I, lying. Kanye West <laughs> oh. first four albums are still like my yeah. top five albums of all time. Like okay. so, I was that Kanye fan. But wait, but what are like, about? Are, his, are we saying we like his music so he should run for president? But exactly, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> exactly, no, I don't right. want people to get no. distracted. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. right. and so right. that's my my professor was like, when you love your people so much. They will break your heart, and so yeah. my heart was broken because mm -hmm. right. people will got distracted and right. was like, because we do have Biden, who is not the most enthusiastic candidate for us to Ooh. vote for. No, and then of course we got Trump, okay. no but okay. it's just like, okay, do not get distracted by Kanye. Do you not see that what we have, what we're risking, what what we have going on right now? Kanye made his announcement on 4th of July, the day after Trump just made his very, basically his KKK speech at Mount Rushmore. Let's just be right. honest. Okay. And they was still, I don't just, he, he wants to say that he's not, you know, no longer, you know, associated with uh, Trump, Trump. Yeah, but... He's Let's, very irresponsible. Yeah, I, I don't believe you. At that time, you were still. We still saw you as that MAGA hat wear supporter. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, how convenient! How convenient! Right. He's hard to trust, and I think that's the thing. Yeah. Because did you read his? Was it Forbes who interviewed? Yeah, him? that was Forbes. His the Forbes, birthday party. Right. Yes. Kanye the, West. The, the, yes. Yeah. So Forbes. he did an okay. interview on Forbes, and they got okay. into it, mm -hmm. and oh, they, they said, did. "What are you going to do with the MAGA hat?" He's like, "I think I'm going to burn it." Yeah. He's mm -hmm. dispose of it, oh, right? And okay. then they asked him something that I really wanted to know, which is, if you run for president, how are you faring? And he's like, "Well." If I can't get the Republican ticket and Trump beats me, mm -hmm. right. then I'm going to go independent. And they yes. said, do you realize you're technically throwing away people's votes if they vote for you as an independent? Oh, so they don't they wouldn't count at all. Not they wouldn't count. Yeah. Okay. But it does come down to Splits the vote. right. Republican and Democrats. Mm. Those are the two major parties oh, okay. there's libertarian there's independent yeah. none of those the are the main parties are democratic and he's Republican. very irresponsible so his okay. inconsistency i would almost have respected him more okay. if he kept Chose his side. energy from 20 was it 2024 wait, wait, wait. oh well oh, no. okay the, yes you what, talking about when George he first Bush announced doesn't like black it people? No, I didn't when he went, I'm sorry. Yeah, when he I'm made his sure original tweet, yeah, like, when he went people. crazy, and he said that he was gonna run in 2024. <laughs> yes, that's he okay. did made that. He did. You could have uh, kept that right. until 2024. Right. I mean, hold hold it together. So I think I just don't trust. Yeah, him. and yeah. we can talk about the. We always wait. That's the purpose we of primaries. Wait. Yes. The purpose of primaries is to vote for the candidate that you want to represent right. the party. Okay. Right. And so I was very, yes. I hope, I, I'm going to go ahead and preach this into existence. Come on. Diddy, Sean Puffy Combs, I have beef with him. Diddy? Because, yes. You're wanting to make, well, make he, 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 well, like, no, oh, Diddy. No, 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 no. no. He so got on. Well, he, like, he got on Instagram, and I don't know who he was talking to. It was like a Instagram live, and he basically said, "Joe Biden, we need a black agenda, and if we don't have a black agenda, and we don't agree on the black agenda, yeah. I'm going to hold my vote." Yes. Well, guess and this what? was after it's the primary. 
Yeah, the, right. at the, the primary. So because Diddy wasn't informed enough to actually understand <laughs> what he was saying, mm-hmm. now you have all your little followers in the millions Don't that are vote. thinking Biden is not worth my time. And that is so irresponsible. Irresponsible. Ooh. It's so irresponsible. Mm-hmm. So we got to so vote regardless of if we like it. Right. Okay. That's it. Okay. I'm gonna have me a little gain? checklist yes. when I'm done. I'm with y'all. Oh I'm my gosh! Yes. Exhibit A. Well, yeah. and, and because you know the president, he we say he isn't in charge of a lot, but then he's still in charge he of is. things, he is. right? We have some Supreme Court seats yes. that are going to be up for grabs in this next term. I don't know. I think he thought SCOTUS was gonna with his elected seats, he was gonna get a little something that he didn't quite get. In reality, right? Yeah, they're going collectively yep. and rationally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they did, but he still packed those federal courts on down. Though he, he packed those sure courts, and it still was close too. It was courts. close, and you know what? And there's still lifetime. You have yeah. said <laughs> something so important. Mm-hmm. We only look at the, the Supreme, Supreme court. court of the land, and okay. you said something that mm-hmm. most people wouldn't even have considered. Including myself yeah, including a year myself, ago, I yep. promise you, as yeah. a lawyer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> we forget about those. Yes. We really do. We yes. Really do. What did she yes. say? She said, because she's yeah. telling you to look down, Jordan. Don't look up. Look, okay. Look down. Okay. Look Meaning down really? primary, so local. No, no. Okay. Because, Jordan, look, right. when we were in college, we were right. in tech together. The, mm-hmm. the three of us. Yeah. When you. You were in tech too. She I was, was at tech. tech. <laughs> I was that random transfer <laughs> that left tech. I, came I love and tech I left. too. Me too. Yeah. Well, <laughs> when we were Traders. there. <laughs> yeah. Or even at SMU, okay. when you had a bad grade, you weren't running to the dean of your school and saying, hey, 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 this is wrong. It's true. You were going to your professor. Mm-hmm. Your professor are these local yeah. seats that we're voting for right now. Mm-hmm. Right. Perspective. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. I like that. That's really <laughs> good. And we got like, we have about four minutes left, guys. Um, wh- I have to, I just really have to shout out our teachers. Because I feel like teachers hey, are very yes. underserved, underappreciated. Mm-hmm. They're like the first people that really have impact in our lives outside of our parents. Mm-hmm. But they just don't really get the love that they deserve. We love you, teachers. So, mm-hmm. Shout out to Miss Lewis. Shout out to the teachers. Yes, Aww. shout out to Miss Lewis. Uh, was, we were in Who, class together. Who'd you have um, with the big R? <laughs> Morningside Elementary. Morningside Elementary, man. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. My um, mom used to be an English teacher. Was she? Hey. Shout out to her. That's what's Shout up, out. Man. Really? Yeah. yeah. And we pray for y'all going <laughs> back to school and not getting. Is school actually starting back up? So far. Nobody right. knows. Um, Depending nobody on knows. the. No. They, they, no. They going back to they school. They going back to school. <laughs> well, oh. like right now I know, like, you said, like, you got some kids or something. <laughs> well, no. I, okay. I don't have kids. Yeah. However, see, that's the point of working in the state literature and working. Yeah. <laughs> It state um, working for the state okay. according to um, the Texas Education um, Agency TEA. Okay. TEA. They are going back to school. Ooh. Yes. In are, August, they, same time. Well, we don't know yet. It's based on the school district's plans. Okay. So what they can provide and what the school they have the options to do hybrid or you know come mm-hmm. to school but um, online on, or yeah kind of. online or in person but yeah. if we really look at the reality of a lot of our um, communities especially low-income communities where in low-income single parent where they have to they have to go to work right, right. they have no choice That's schools true. are not just a learning facility they are the daycare Mm -hmm. they are a safe haven therapists yes that the this that provides that place for this kids to go to and a lot of these parents cannot provide um um what is my term i'm looking for afford a babysitter right to watch for their kids to do online schooling so as we close, ladies, I just want to thank you guys for coming out, each and every single one of you. You informed me so much. Hey. And uh, we're going to make sure that I vote. We got yes. one yes. registered yes. voter out of this. We got one. Yes. We got one. Um, and just, just in closing, just anything that you guys want to say. My my message with this is, like, you never you, you can't heal what you never reveal. Mm. 
So just kind of mm-hmm. like how you were saying that you were yeah. holding on mm-hmm. to stuff, mm-hmm. I, I kind of dealt with that same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so just any last words for each of you? Well, I think we have more power than we think. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we're the most opinionated generation. And True. if anything that the initiative can do for people, it's just not to chew your food for you. Mm-hmm. We're going to give you the facts. You chew it. You decide if you like it. And you make your decision. Which, by the way, we are nonpartisan. I don't we think are we've said that. Right now, we're talking about the we Democratic race. We are not but Republican no. forward or okay. Democrat forward. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're neutral. We're neutral. We're neutral. Okay. Which, which is part And of that it. is for the sole purpose of informing the voters to make right. their own That's educated good. decisions. You That's can turn Empowering on people. Yeah. <laughs> we're not those things. <laughs> yeah. We are not those things. Yep. I like that. I like yeah. That. That's, that's, I'm good. What yeah. about you? Um, to kind of go off of what you just said, stay informed, like stay. It is so easy to find someone who knows the answer, right? I won't say, cause I, I just said how hard it was to research these facts, right. but there are people that are moving forward in the right direction in, um, acting as an advocate for all of us. Right. Okay. Such as me and Nat. Right. Right. And so just finding that platform that you can go to to ask questions. Don't be don't be scared. There is no dumb question, Mm -hmm. you know, so just make sure that you stay informed and and that you are making the right decision at all times based on your own research and your own factual information. Right. Um, I like to say this is just the first step. Voting is the first step after that. Follow up. Then you go into advocacy, or you can call it lobbying. Make sure that these politicians are following through with their promises. That's how you get real change, is, is a follow-up. And then we can talk about money into politics later, but your vote and then follow up with making sure they're doing the changes that you want. So Yeah. And uh, there it is, y'all. Thank Make you, sure Jordan. Y'all Thank you, Jordan. Like, oh, yeah. For sure. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, review, and that's a wrap. This has been Catch You on the Rebound. Woo. Woo. Thank you. Good. <laughs>